You want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. I'll give you the moon, Mary. I'll take it. She was the fresh-faced American beauty who lit up the screen in It's a Wonderful Life and From Here to Eternity. Her memorable portrayal of a television mom brought her into the hearts and homes of millions around the world. Donna was the person that everybody wanted as their mom. And as Behind the beautiful face and loving smile was a determined career woman and an outspoken political activist. A woman who stood for much more than an idealized notion of the American dream. I am here really because of the deep pain of war which has come to all mothers down through the ages. In spite of all the success and all the attention, she was also a very real person. graduated in the top 10 of her class in 1938, she dreamt of a college education and a career in radio. At 18, Donna took a chance and signed up for a local beauty contest, hoping to earn some extra money. The gamble paid off when she won the Miss Southgate title. $25 cash and a seat atop a glorious New Year's Day Rose Parade float. She represented Southgate in the 1940 Tournament of Roses, uh, and actually none of her friends knew about it. Uh, she was always very private, and her friends were surprised to see her riding in the parade. After finishing out the college semester, Donna joined the Feldman Blum Talent Agency and began preparing for a screen test. When the head of MGM Studios, Louis B. Mayer, saw the screen test, he declared Donna the studio's next starlet. MGM created a publicity whirlwind, emphasizing Donna's natural good looks and wholesome image. Soon, producers and directors were requesting the fresh-faced beauty for supporting roles in a series of films. Donna was still seeking the breakthrough role that would make her a household name. When Columbia announced they were making the big screen adaptation of James Jones's award-winning novel, From Here to Eternity, Donna was determined to be cast in the film's raciest part. From Here to Eternity was a smashing success with both audiences and critics. After Eternity, she expected to go on to better things, better and better things. It was like a slap in the face to be downgraded. Disgusted with the studio's sudden indifference to her career, Donna fought for and won a release from her contract. The film was a hit, but once again, Reed found herself assigned to a series of bland supporting roles. Furious, the 34-year-old actress severed all ties with Universal and joined creative forces with her producer husband, Tony. Together, they formed Todon Productions. By 1957, over 40 million American families were enjoying a new form of entertainment, television. And Donna and Tony saw an opportunity to make their mark on the small screen. After assembling the ideal American family, on September 24, 1958, the Donna Reed Show premiered. During the second season, the show took off as audiences warmed to Donna Stone's unique blend of strength and sweetness. After three years and 100 episodes, a confident Donna pushed for more unique storylines. There was a segment about interracial marriage, or rather controversial topic. Donna meticulously oversaw every detail of the show's production. 
She wanted to be more than just the star of the show. She came up with story ideas. She helped decide casting decisions. Today, on a credit, you put her as co-producer. Everybody always talks about Lucy as being the only person who did that, and that, of course, is not true. Donna, in her quiet way, was very much a producer and a writer and a, a real force behind that show. She was that show. In 1966, after 274 episodes, ABC and Donna agreed it was time to retire the Donna Reed Show while they were still on top. A four-time Emmy nominee and a Golden Globe winner, Donna Reed had conquered the world of television. At age 40, she commanded respect both in front of the camera and behind the scenes. Her successful transition from film to television proved she could well adapt to a changing Hollywood. But soon...